You could say there's a good heart in this soul. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Soul, the latest Disney Pixar film. The film follows the character of Joe, an ambitious musician who wishes to break out of the holes that he's in. He wishes to be more than just someone who teaches music, but he also wants to be in the moment, in the kind of in the space of music. Something happens to him and he crosses over to the great beyond, but he doesn't want to because he's just about to get his break. So he finds a way into the great beginning and he meets up with another soul that he has to help try and get back to Earth so he can get back to Earth. And I kind of wonder how this pitch meeting went when they did it at Pixar because on paper, this is a whack idea, but it's actually a very good idea. While it does incorporate the element of music, it's not just a music movie, which some people might be kind of expecting, and that was what I was going into this film, but it's not. Music has a few notes throughout the film, if you want to be so bold, but it's not a critical part. It is an essential part of Joe's character, but as the film begins to show you, it's not the reason for his character, and that's not the reason for the film. First off, I definitely want to give props where props is due. This is probably the best looking Pixar movie ever made. I can't believe how good this film looks. When Pixar dip into human animation, human looking characters, it's always kind of a, ooh, I'm a little bit hesitant about it because I'm just so used to Toy Story and then all of their fantasy and childlike stories, but this was amazing. I couldn't believe how good the textures were, how good the shadows were, how good the modeling and the animation was. I could clearly see sweat on Ray's face and I was watching it on my television. This movie had an absolute amazing color base and when it goes into the great beyond, I love how simplistic the great beings are and how well they move in the real world and in their own world. So yeah, animation and visual design of this film down packed amazing. The story is a lot different from what I expected. Yeah, I know that he's trying to get back to his body so he can do his gig, but what is the core aspect of the film? It's about what it is to live, what it is to be someone in the world, and what it is to find your purpose, but also find what gives other people purpose. This movie did give me a few vibes to Inside Out, and I wouldn't be surprised if other people got that feeling because there are some similarities in terms of overall message, tone, and kind of the ever lingering feeling of the film, but it still has enough differentiation to it to add some good humor, to add some good world building, and to add some very good character moments. I actually like how not crazy this movie is. For a Pixar film, the amount of really crazy, fun, action-packed things in this film are very, very few. There's not a lot of action that happens in this movie in comparison to others. There's no big, grand, vista-like moments. There's kind of a little bit of a, a climax at the end, but it's not a visual one. It is a character one. And I think it's why we get such a great visual design is because they didn't have to spend as much time with animation and creating these grand vistas, they were able to keep the story very centered, and by doing so, they're able to work on the visuals a lot more. And it's also very well helped by the great voice acting by Tina Fey and Jamie Foxx. They do their main characters very well. I love that the woman from Hunt for the Wilder People is in this, and she's the exact same type of character she's always been. Every single scene with Terry made me giggle. I enjoy Soul, I like Soul. Now, I'll have to admit, I'm not the biggest fan of animated films. I've always enjoyed them, but there's always gotta be something special to make that really Really stand out for me. One that I can think of in the recent years was Kubo and the Two Strings. That whole movie is just a complete marvel to me. This one, it's good. It's good. But it definitely doesn't have much of a repeated viewing material to me that other Pixar films do. I've rewatched Moana, and I actually never thought I would rewatch that movie, but it's mainly because of the I Love a You song. That song is so damn cute. But really, I don't know if I'd ever see this again. There's just not much drive for me to want to see it, but I can definitely attest that it is a well-made film. It's a great animated movie. Pixar, they are who they are because they're good at what they do, and they prove it this film. Is it as kid oriented as most of their films are, not so much, but it definitely is a lot more open to a broader audience, and I think that this is something that they might not try again because it is a little bit different from what they're used to. Still, really well put together, really good animation, fantastic visuals, just a 
typical Pixar film. Anyways, I'm gonna give Soul a 5 out of 7. Anyways, guys, that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.